Welcome back to Book Club Preview. I'm Michael, and today we're looking at Romeo and Juliet, Act 2, Scenes 5 and 6. They're both very short. But the first scene, Scene 5, is a little bit more confusing. So <laughs> it starts off with Juliet just wondering where in the world is this nurse? She said she'd only be like 30 minutes or an hour and it's already been three hours. Where is she? And she's just walking back and forth. Well, I don't know if she's walking back and forth in her room, but certainly in her mind. She's, oh, where is she? Where is she? Where is she? She's just so excited. And then finally, the nurse comes. And the nurse comes and Julia's just like, what do you say? What do you say? Did you find him? Is it good news? Is it bad news? And the nurse is just like, oh, my bones ache. Oh, is your mother inside? Oh, the weather is beautiful today. She won't answer Juliet's question until finally the nurse is like, oh, oh, my back hurts. And Juliet starts massaging her back. And oh, yeah, yeah, down on this part. And Juliet's massaging her back. And she's like, come on, tell me, tell me, nurse. What news do you have? And finally, if you listen to the audio, um, you can hear this a lot more, but if you're just reading it, it's a little harder to find um, or to notice or get the, the difference in the feelings. But finally, the nurse says, okay, Romeo is a good guy. He might not be the most courteous because you remember Romeo's friends were very polite to her, but he's a good guy and I think he'll do you well. And he's very handsome. And tonight you're going to get married. And Julia's just like, ah! I'm so excited. She's like, yeah, you'll go to Friar's um, room or church and Romy will be waiting and you can guys get married there. And the nurse is going to go out and get a ladder so that way Romeo can climb up the ladder into Ro to Juliet's room where they can be um, properly married at night. And that's kind of how the uh, scene five ends. So scene six picks up with Romeo and Friar Lawrence wondering if Juliet's coming and the friar is like hey it's getting it's getting late but don't worry don't get too sad and Romeo's like man I, I couldn't get that I could never get sad I'm so excited just even if I was able to marry her for only one minute of my life I would be so happy and you know so they're kind of talking and Friar Lawrence is like whoa calm down calm down a fast love um isn't isn't very good but you want a steady love that lasts a long time and Romeo is just like man my love is going to be both and then Ro Juliet comes in and Juliet's like oh Romeo and Romeo's like oh I love you so much my love is like this wide and this big and he's kind of describing how great he loves her and then Ro Juliet's like oh those are just words um, love can't be described my love is so great that I couldn't even describe half of it. <laughs> and, and so Friar's like, okay, okay, you guys love each other, I get it, um, but I better not leave you guys alone because I don't know what's gonna happen. Why don't we uh, get the wedding underway? And so Romeo and Juliet go with the Friar to get married. And that is how scene two ends. And uh, wow, scene three is where we're gonna get into some action. Or some drama vocabulary of course um, please look at phrases expressions words that you didn't know and you had to look up write them in the YouTube comments with your definition so that way others can see what those expressions mean and of course we'll check those together discussion question I have for you is have you ever had a message for someone that they couldn't wait to hear like maybe you went in between two people giving messages back and forth. There's like, what'd he say? What'd she say? Or maybe even mom or dad. What did dad say? What did mom say? Right, and you know the information. You're like, mm, well, uh, I'm really hungry. Do you have anything to eat? Oh, come on, tell me what it said. Oh, I think I remember you had, um, you had some chocolate in your desk right here's the chocolate eat it what did they say <laughs> something like that i have no idea but a little bit like the nurse was doing to juliet where the nurse wouldn't tell <laughs> juliet 
what Romeo had said until the uh, nurse had enough time uh, teasing Juliet. Have you ever had that experience? Or, you know, we could say, have you ever been Juliet? And someone else had the message and they wouldn't tell you until you gave them a favor or something like that, did a favor for them. Of course, please make your own discussion question. That is all the time that we have for today. But thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Book Club Preview. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, if you have any questions about the video today, uh, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. If you had any other vocabulary words that you wanted to know what they meant, uh, let me know. And also, if you're interested in maybe joining one of these book clubs, um, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.